Hello my beautiful Capricorn, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and welcome, welcome to this channel. Right, we are going to do one of my favorite is this, this, this readings, which is regarding money, manifestation, career, finances, and all the beautiful things that we want and need in our lives for the month of June 2023. How are you doing, Capricorn? I really hope you're doing great. Please keep your mind open and intuition as well. Use your intuition to receive these messages and check your sun, moon, and rising signs for more in-depth information as well. Ready. What we're going to do is we're going to, oh wow, straight away we have Ace of Wands jumping out. That means like there's some interesting, charismatic, passionate ideas coming your way. Maybe some interesting opportunities, job opportunities as well. Right. What we're going to do, we're going to have a look at the beginning, middle and end of month. We're going to have a look at the timing and the qualities that you will need for this month as well. Right. And don't be a stranger, if you feel like this is your place, press the subscribe button and of course like and comment. I love hearing from you. Ready? Are you ready? Capricorn? Wow. Um, four of pentacles, straight in. Holding on to that money. Three of pentacles, okay. What are you learning? Page of cups. Three of wands. What is going on? What kind of big plans are you having for this month? Six of pentacles. And the lovers, I said this kind of felt like you are turning your some sort of passion for in for something, whatever you're doing, into a business. Okay, and at the bottom we have a Knight of Pentacles. Very promising indeed. Right, let's dive into Keeper and let's see what Keeper has to add to this. Wow, marriage, commitments, new contracts. Indeed. Let's have a look. Fox. Mm -hmm. Okay. Straight in. What I'm seeing here, guys, is that you might have experienced some tricky situation. Either a contract that you are not agreeing with or there needs some little tweaks and twerks. Um, it could be a situation where you have to be a little bit street smart and not I don't feel that someone else it could be it could be that someone else is kind of foxy or a little bit um trying to outsmart you, hence you may be holding on to money a little bit tight, okay. But what I'm seeing here is that you want to achieve something, it's something that you want to pursue, but it's not coming as easy as you thought it would. Either you are trying to reach out for the person or looking for a new job, and it's just Feels like you need to have a some sort of think outside the box attitude here. Okay. Think outside the box. I'll need to clarify this because it feels I would say that I would like to warn you regarding before you anything if you sign anything, you do your due diligence, and that's just basics, right? But there could be maybe someone is playing a bit of a field. <laughs> in in the ways someone might perhaps is not true to their own word as well. Let's just clarify. However, four pentacles is is a card of holding your, managing your life, managing your finances, managing what's going on in your life. Okay, and you're doing so well. Perhaps maybe there's some co communication or kind of new contracts, new possibilities coming in where you need to be. Um, what would we say the best word is? Street smart. Yeah. Maybe not your thing, but there's a reason. We'll clarify that. Four pentacles. Let's have a look. Uh -huh. Interesting. We have the Wheel of Fortune and Four of Swords. Look. <laughs> it is a kind of double-edged sword kind of situation here because what happens for with the Four of Swords? Three swords were there. You might have exposed someone, okay? You might have exposed someone uh, that they are not committing or they are not doing things that way they should be doing. Perhaps that you are, you may be a whistleblower, doesn't matter. It, it could be some only rare you. It's not very often that happens. And now you're kind of healing. However, when Wheel of Fortune comes in a money reading, that really says, look, you are in the right time, right place. Jump in quick. And secure your position. Okay. Hence, I have this feeling there could be some 
disagreement or there could be some um, unpleasant situation or conversations or situation that didn't felt like, ooh, it feels ick. You know, you have that ick moment. But with that, the Wheel of Fortune has brought you an opportunity where you need to jump in pretty quick and secure a place. There could be some niche or some sort of that perhaps maybe someone pulled out of their uh, uh, contract, someone pulled out of uh, giving the word and you are left on your own, okay? And hence, it kind of open actually opportunity for you here. With that, it could be that either you're looking for a new job because this is a card of putting you know, yourself out there in the market, kind of selling yourself, showing what you can do. But this is a card as well of looking for investors. It sound, I know it sounds massive and big or so, but it could be that maybe your investors could be as well that you are kind of looking for support in social media, marketing, kind of really kind of get your uh, other business or yourself off the ground, maybe putting yourself in LinkedIn or putting yourself in different um, work um, the websites as well for recruitments. And it's kind of really showing, it could be your beginning of some sort of phase where you are showing what you, you're good at. Let's clarify that. Let's clarify that. Oh, wow. Very interesting. Look, definitely. The Wheel of Fortune wasn't lying. If you take this opportunity, and it will need your courage, right? You will need, it comes some sort of dream is coming true. And with the star is bringing fame, is bringing that recognition perhaps it was the best thing that happened to you kind of walking away from or finding someone who is being foxy or not maybe perhaps doing their thing you know and it kind of brought your uh, light in you that what you do and how good you are and this is a card as well if you're experiencing success is this social media or somewhere else just this card is definitely kind of reminding please think of your security okay and don't show off too much of um like um prize kind of valuables okay so big, otherwise that could really open to um someone to try to, i wouldn't say steal but be not truly honest because there seems that there's a fox a little bit around as well right middle of the month what we have page of cups three of wands there's some great opportunity here for you and it's something that you really like some some sort of great you know if what i'm seeing here is working with ether and what that means is sometimes you start a project you start something you have this dream okay you have this dream that you want to fulfill we have the stars you have this aspiration and opportunity comes across and it's nothing set in stone hence it's feeling like watery kind of it's it's um it's not wishy-washy but it feels okay i need to create other business plan i need to create something but I need to start doing it. They're kind of looking ahead. And we have the full moon in the Sagittarius at the beginning of month, which is definitely going to talk about focusing on long term, right? Dreaming big and being in ways a little bit spontaneous as well at the same time. And do whatever you do, doing with conviction and commitment as well. Because it feels kind of, you got my, perhaps you're starting uh, some sort of business or a thing or, or even task at work that you cannot see the end result yet. And that's why I said it felt like you're working in ether. So everything you work is in your head. Very, very different, right? Yes, indeed. Let's have a look. Wealthy man and the change in the bottom. Okay, here's your lucky number here. 13. You don't need to worry about th things. The thing is going to fall in the right place and they're going to work out for themselves, that's for sure. Lady. Great. I have to say there is going to be great communication, so great collaboration. And I never, you never know where is this might bring you to. Let's clarify. Page of Cups. Uh-huh. Action. You are going to take action if you aren't. It's a really good time really really good time put the things in a paper being proactive as well and it's interesting we have majority we have minor carnas apart from the two here it feels like this month this is really down on you even though you have a lucky break some little nice turn but it's really uh head down and work month let's have a look at the three ones what kind of big plans you're making what kind of big plans you're making here 
nine of swords it this idea or whatever you're doing might weigh you down a bit and what it means is you might actually feel like oh am i good enough can i actually do this because what i said it feels something in ether something you're working with other computers maybe may, may creating um creating creating something that is not tangible at the moment and that can really weigh you down a bit okay collaborations with some people as well we have an again king of swords this is very interesting what is is important is to being honest yourself and we have the two swords three swords being have a good communication being true to yourself and and true to others as well and not to talk down yourself i feel like there's some authority change as well okay we have four cups and the full Wow, some twists and turns is coming here for you guys. Because with four cups, it feels like you have been waiting for some sort of offer. You might have been waiting for the right moment. And it's arriving. Now, with the full in the money, really, is this. When it's the right time, you jump in. But you need to kind of weigh out as well pros and cons. Don't just jump in um, on, on because it feels right, right? But it's very important not to be fooled. And not good, not good. Get fooled or not being foolish as well, but it's a very, very, very good. It's really down to you how you're gonna apply yourself. It's really down to your your application how you're gonna apply yourself. Not an easy, not an easy middle month, I have to say. Um, really quite heavy on your, um, perhaps on your mental health or because the work might be quite not the typical one that everyone else is doing. If that makes sense. Okay. Right. Capricorn, very last end of the month. Of course, we have summer solstice this this, this uh, month. And this is going to bring um, very interesting uh, questions, which is why I'm doing things, what it is that makes me grow, what makes me evolve. And I feel like you want more. You want more just the money. And it's not just about money for you this month. It's more about not just proving yourself, but really applying yourself being bringing yourself to work bringing yourself to business being really you passionate about things and perhaps sometimes you feel that you might come come across misunderstood as well however let's dive in what do we have for end of month thoughts mm -hmm. interesting we have the partnerships here come across perhaps you may be thinking um is this the right place how can i improve um, my communication because we have seen a lot of people around here have you been thinking of maybe partnering becoming a partner or and now that might not be your decision but it feels like you could really benefit from good communications and when we have mercury's in um in, in cancer as well this month it's kind of really talks about making yourself sure and safe Having that conversations, that being honest, listening, and you will have a lot of insights of you might actually overhear some stories that something might help you on a business. Look, have a whip. Why well, it's interesting, this whip very often is being seen as negative, but this one is something that's gonna put you in the right mindset. You will hear truths that perhaps might have here feel uh un I wouldn't say unpleasant. You might not want to hear it, but if some sort of truth will come out that you need to hear. Okay. And it's going to really put yourself like, okay, I need to maybe improve my standards, maybe improve my, the way I work, my work ethic, and so on and so on. Right. And the month we have six of pentacles and lovers. Right. With the lovers, as interestingly, is this. You have a skill, you have a talent that you could turn in and you love doing it. Okay. You can be very, very good at it. But are you prepared to do this day in, day out? And perhaps this is the thing that you may need to hear it. Are you prepared? For example, I do my own nails and I love it to doing so. I feel very, um, it's like at my therapy, right? Therapeutic, let's say it this way. But I do not want to do it for no one else. This is my hobby. This is my time. And this would be the point where the lovers would come in, for example, perhaps my reading would say, okay, Mia, but are you prepared to do this day in, day out? And it feels like you can give so much, but is this something you want to do? And there are some sort of second thoughts you might have. There could be uh, offers maybe regarding 
working for uh, government or services, you know, really giving your all. And you can do it, standing in your head. But is this something that you really want to do? Because maybe the money isn't as good because we have two sixes, interestingly. And even though the offers are good, but you be really, you need to be really, really true to yourself. Say as it is. It sounds good. Maybe I could do a little bit. But do I want to commit full time to something that is not completely uh, blowing me, <laughs> calling me, blowing me my socks off? Okay, because it would. Wow, this is jumping out. It would benefit a lot of people and society, but. You are concerned about income, you're concerned about the future because the six sixes is about material world. Mm -hmm. Eight of Swords, external influences. Interestingly, let's clarify this. Eight of Swords is, look, these ladies, she's been tied up and her blindfold is there. It kind of feels like, it sounds a good plan, but, and there's a big but, it's not you who's going to call the shots. And is this something you want? It feels like your hands could be tied, could some bureaucracy involved, some sort of external influences, laws, regulations, um, some, some sort of hierarchy play, okay? And you will not feel free. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> Queen of Swords, being honest. And ten of wands. It's really talking about you could be ending up carrying a really heavy load. And you need to be true to yourself. Is this what you want? Is this what you want? Because Queen of Swords is unapolog unapologetically true to herself and not explain to no one to nothing. And it feels like some sort of opportunity could come your way that sounds good and, and shiny and great. But there is a big but. So you need to be really mindful. Is this something that you really want to pursue? Let's have a look at the lovers. What do you need to know about lovers? Nine of Cups. This card reminds me of, you know, cottage business or uh, making your dreams come true. Because we have Eight of Cups and now we come Nine of Cups. Nice progression, right? And very often, if you ever watch Shark Tank or Dragon's Den, people come in... And they, they're they looking for an investment into their business that is doing pretty well, right? And they're doing maybe from kitchen table or whatever. But it feels like it could be that's the maximum that is possible. And it's nothing wrong with it. It's fine. But do you really want to spread your wings and expand but lose control of your, either this is company, of your, uh, some sort of say, okay? I want to clarify this. <clears throat> See, my throat chakra is going because um, it feels like you might be, someone wants to maybe be silenced or you might not be able to express what you feel. Three swords, there we go. High Priestess. There we go. And we have three swords and High Priestess. Ver okay. I hear someone knocking the door and sometimes we are very persistent of what we want and that's not what we really need and I'm feeling it this is the situation because high priestess is saying go back to the drawing board because you're heading away edging into place that is not meant for you advice let's have a look at rice what advice you need to know on this? Advice. You. It feels that you might perhaps limiting yourself. You're not giving yourself full credit. And sometimes you're settling for second best. And that can lead you to commit to something that is not entirely yours to be or have. It's important to revisit your the way you see yourself, what you think of yourself. And if you limit yourself, you are limiting the opportunities. And that could lead to settling for something 
like a second best, but you're not. You are the star. You're meant to. Don't settle for second best. If it's not right, speak the truth and move away from it. Okay, let's have a look at timelines. Capricorn, let's have a look at timelines. If you believe, here we go. This is about believing yourself. Truly, uh, only that's the only thing that is coming. Once you believe yourself, the doors will be opening. What kind of qualities you need to have this month? <clears throat> Clarity. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Being true and honest to yourself first and then to others. And no is a full sentence. Maybe it's time to learn to say no as well. Wow. This is the month. What are we having for you? All right. I'm sending you love and life and blessings and abundance, of course. Thanks so much for being here. And I'll see you in the next reading.